Hey, what's up guys? Jake here. Today I'm at a place called Helen, Georgia. What makes this spot special is everyone comes down here to tube and have a good time. And in my opinion, I think we can find a lot of lost valuables here. So I'm teaming up with my dog Treasure and a few of my friends. We're gonna be tubing at this spot as well. And then at every spot where you can potentially find stuff, like all these little mini waterfalls, we're just gonna jump in and dive and see if we can find some cool things. If you wanna see more videos here in the future, drop a thumbs up and maybe we'll do another one in the future. Since uh, Jake is busy babysitting, <laughs> I'm gonna throw some goggles on and see if I can get to the treasure first. <laughs> Dude, this is a life. This is fun. Yeah, this is a great time. I'm more of like the surfing style. <laughs> I'm more of the relaxing style. Justin. No. You gotta look at this tree. Don't touch it. Hey. Whoever finds the least best treasure has to go to the gum tree and get a piece of gum. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going down the river right now. I haven't found a spot I want to get out and dive yet. It's just really, really shallow. I think I'm stuck on a rock. <laughs> but there's so many people over here on my left. They're all just pushing us through, and I think we'll make it. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm just going to hang out with Treasure. Dude, there's so many people here. Look at this. <laughs> and then we have Treasure in the middle of it all. <laughs> all right, this might be a good spot to dive down. How deep is this, B? All right, guys, so I'm going to leave Treasure in her tube as she's drifting down. I'm going to grab my goggles and dive down and hopefully find some good stuff. But hopefully I don't get trapped underneath any of these tubes and drown. <laughs> I found another corner. I know we're gonna be on top of the no, 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 no. oh, Oopsie. Keep going, Leo. I don't want him to drown. Oh, you killed him. <laughs> I about drowned. <laughs> oh my gosh. Found a boat. Dude, I found an iPhone X. <laughs> Look at that. That's incredible. I hit it with my metal detector too. That's cool, man. I guess everyone wipes out right here. I'm gonna hand it to you just if you can. He doesn't know. But it turns on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. That's not y'all's phone? No, this is it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. It still turns on. That means they lost it today. It has yeah, oh, they... I just got a text. That's pretty cool. We're going to be able to give that back to them, you know? I mean, that's pretty wild. I guess everyone slams into this rock. And I guess when there's thousands of people, one person will be, you know, bound to leave something. So. All right, so I've got a quick update for you guys. <laughs> I took a break. I was getting really cold. I was hanging out with Treasure and my girlfriend Kendall here and Treasure actually sniffed an iPhone. Like this, <laughs> this is too good to be true. Look at this. Check that out. Sure enough, oh shoot, busted on the front. But sure enough, she found an iPhone. That's pretty good, girls. Can't believe it, man. <laughs> Treasure's outdoing me today. She's helping you again. What Treasure, what do you got? You got another iPhone? Yeah. We just checked out the first spot, found a couple cool things, but now we're off to the next spot. All right, so I know everybody's finding some good stuff, okay? I've been a little late on the finds. I finally found something really good. Are you ready? Yeah. I found a hoop earring, and I think it's real. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought you were being real. I found two sunglasses, these broken ones, and then these ones right here. How do I look? <laughs> we got Treasure and Kendall here enjoying their day. You have fun? Yeah. Dude, I think you tired her out. Yeah. <laughs> After that iPhone, she was she was over it. <laughs> the water is so shallow, we have to push these tubes over some of the rocks. And me and Brandon are just <laughs> slipping on everything. Ah! I'm a bad help. I think I go this way. Oh. <laughs> this water is so slippery. Come on, help. Get up here. <laughs> now we're stuck up here. Fly down, B. <laughs> Look at everyone. Treasure's out. out. Oh. <laughs> hey, slip for you. Be honest with you guys, I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it looked. Uh, but we're still out here having a good time, but it has been an absolute struggle. It's so shallow where you have to lift up your tube over these rocks and all this and that, and Treasure's like, I'm not having it. <laughs> but we're still having a good time. We're hopping from spot to spot, finding some cool stuff, and I'm excited to show you guys more. So let's go ahead and find the next spot to dive in. 
<laughs> All good. Didn't even notice you. So much fun, a lot of treasure here. All right, Justin, this isn't just a normal rock, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna <laughs> do that on, again, man. but this Come one's on. really shiny. Look at that. They say you can find gold here. I don't think that's gold, but that's a really pretty shiny rock underwater. All right, out of all the rocks, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, guys, so we're drifting down the river to go to our next spot. Found some cool stuff in the previous spot. But we're finding our next one, so hopefully we can hold on. Have a moment of nature with treasure. All right, here we go. Oh no! Treasure, lean forward. You will tip us. Lean forward. There we go. You know this dog has like such a cool life. She goes on the stand-up paddleboard, the jet ski, and she even tubes. If you guys want to check out her merch, I'm gonna have a link in the description below. Uh, some of the proceeds uh, that you guys actually spend on her merch will actually go to help other dogs in need. So if you guys want to stand behind that, check out some treasure dog merch. But uh, she's out here living life, man. If you guys have ever been here, let me know in the comment section below. But every time we've been here, it's been super, super shallow. But I think that's what makes this spot special, man. You're bumping into each other, trying to get over rocks. It's a ton of fun. You dead? Oh gosh, I might as well be. Right All right, I think we see our next spot coming up. I'm excited. Dude, this water is absolutely freezing. It's too cold, right? Oh, dude. <laughs> right in front of me. Here. <laughs> no, no, get that out of my <laughs> It's like ankle deep, but I found sunglasses. As a treasure hunter, I'll never have to buy sunglasses again. <laughs> we find thousands. Brandon has a pile of them too. Does he? Does he? Oh my god. Me, I think you got more than me. <laughs> this is a great time. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's very difficult to find treasure here because the water is super clear and it's usually like ankle deep. But spots like this where it drops off about your maybe waist or chest high, you're gonna find a lot of cool stuff. I think we found like collectively over like a hundred of these like I guess little clip and rope things. Brandon's coming over here right now, but we actually have to make it down to all this little waterfall feature. It's really shallow, and I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult than we think. Should be fun though. I think Brandon's going to hit his butt on a bunch of rocks. What do you think about going down this thing? I'm going head first. <laughs> yes. Risking it. Found so many more straps. Oh! Mm. Come here, quick. This is awesome. What is it? I found something. Did you catch a fish? <laughs> it's the smallest shoe in the world. Oh my god, I got the biggest shoe in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, no way. A rock. Oh, god. Uh, <laughs> never ending. Hey, B. Look what I found, dude. Something to keep my hair back. Oh, you got a hair beret. Yeah. Perfect, you need that. <laughs> Actually, I might need it. <laughs> all right, so our friend Bo is on this trip as well, and he's like, dude, I think I found something. <laughs> you waved us all over it, here. Bro. What'd it? you get? Let's get up here and check it out. Oh! Hey! Get an iPhone. <laughs> Maybe iPhone. What model do you think that is? Uh, probably iPhone 8 or Let's iPhone see. 7. Hey, V, look at that. <laughs> it has the sticker still. 
Wow. Good find, dude. That's yeah. pretty incredible. That's awesome. All right, first off, how you out here without a wetsuit on? It's absolutely freezing cold. Yeah, you're off, making us look bad. He's finding more treasure than us, man. The fact that it has a sticker on it, you might be able to get something off of it. The speaker is just moldy. Yes. Yeah, but there's a sticker on the back, so it had to be a new drop. Do you know what kind of... Oh, look, look! No way! If found, please call, and there's a number right there. Oh, really? Yeah. If you guys know what number iPhone this is, let us know in the comment section below. But, Bo, that's pretty cool, man. You found an iPhone with a number on the back that says, if found, please call. <laughs> Everyone's getting smarter, man. Literally can't get luckier than that. <laughs> yeah. If you guys oh, are, no. if you guys watch these videos, make sure you write your phone number or put a sticker like that on there. So I wonder smart. whose number they put on there, because theoretically, if you lose your phone, you got to put Yeah, you got to put somebody else's. else's. All right, guys. So, Brandon and I are at the very end of the tube exit. Just right around the corner is the exit for the green tubes, and just down there is the exit for the pink tubes. This is where everyone exits when they're done tubing. So... I think we can find some good stuff right here. It's a little bit deeper as well. It's not really super deep, but I think uh, someone could lose an iPhone while stressing out trying to get out of the exit. So let's At go least ahead. That's what we hope. Yeah. <laughs> let's go ahead, hop in here, and then drift down and see if we can find some cool stuff. Oh. Hey, I found a pop socket, bro. With pineapples on it. That's like Kendall's favorite. That's cool. You want it? I'll save it for you. <laughs> a little kid lost her shoe. <laughs> That's so sad. Uh -uh, dude. Uh -uh. That's a freaking We're going in the bridge. Scared. Dude, I just found a phone case, but no phone inside. Oh, bummer. It was an iPhone. Dang, man. So there's a phone probably up here somewhere. Remember that little shoe I showed you? Yeah. I found the other one. <laughs> that little kid lost both her shoes. How sad. Everyone's losing their shoes, found some fishing line. Trying our best to clean up the area as well, but the water is like freezing cold. But uh, we're having fun. Finding a lot of straps is normal. <laughs> Brandon, he's been struggling on finding good treasure. And when I was diving down there, I actually found a phone. I didn't grab it or anything, but I'm giving it to him so he can make a cool video. <laughs> This is the biggest iPhone I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Dude, look at how disgusting that is. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Jake was a great friend. <laughs> Jake found a phone case and they found the outline or something. He was like, Brandon, I'm not even gonna go over there. I saw an outline, but just go over there. And uh, so I knew it was gonna be something pretty good, but you passed up on something terrible, dude. You should have grabbed it. <laughs> what is it? It's a giant iPhone. It's the biggest iPhone I've ever seen. Don't rub the mud off. I ain't rubbing the mud off. Let me it's hold got a me. picture behind it. Oh yeah, looks like maybe a, a license right here. All right, so now is the big moment. We're gonna open this thing up. I honestly still can't believe how muddy this is. <laughs> Pretty disgusting. Oh, oh, we're rich boys. We got a credit card. We got a freaking red, red, red iPhone. <laughs> I've never seen one of these. Wait, it says, oh, it's a product red. What's that mean? So apparently when you buy this phone, uh, some of the proceeds actually go to like the World's AIDS Foundation so that like Helps find a cure or something like that. I'm not really sure, but that's what the product red iPhone supports. So we have an ID, we have a debit card or credit card, and we had the phone. So this is gonna be easy. Whether it works or not, we can get it back now. <laughs> so right now, Justin is actually looking up the address because she lives in Georgia. Looks about an hour and a half away. Hour and a half away. It's on the way home. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Jacob, for being a good friend. You're welcome. <laughs> so we made it down to the post office, and the phone I found, I actually contacted the person, and I got an address. I'm going to mail it out to him today. The phone both found, it was like a voice automatic system when we called the number that was about on the back of that phone, and we gave all the information they need to be able to contact us. So if the owner comes forward, we can give that phone back to him. And then after I'm done mailing out this phone, we'll go ahead and knock on the door of the phone that Brandon found. So we're just going to show up at their house and see what they say. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the doorbell. 
and uh, knock on the 